Hi dolls, so I'm back. So I wanted to come and do a gloss review for you dolls on the Kylie glosses. I've had these for a while and I was supposed to do a swatch video and review on these such a long time ago. So I decided I would go ahead and do it. I did keep the little postcards that came with it just to show you, but I did already throw the box away. So it comes with this one with her on it. And then it has a little note on the back. And then you also get the famous dripping lips one. And this one also does have a note on the back as well. I own all of the glosses that she currently has on her website. Um, and I did purchase these after the release of the first three, but I will show you how they look on my lips and tell you what I think about them. While applying these, I'm not going to be using a liner at all, just so that you can get the true color. Here's how the packaging looks on all of the glosses. The colors do coordinate with the lip color on the inside of the box, but this is how the boxes look. So another thing that I did want to mention is that these do have a brush on applicator versus like a doe foot applicator. The first color I'm going to be trying is so cute and on the website this is described as a pale beige. So the next one that I'm going to be trying out is the color Like. And on the website, Like is described as a warm mocha brown. The next color is Literally. And on the website, this is described as a neutral mid-tone nude. The next color is Exposed. On the website, this is described as a warm, peachy nude. Okay, so then the next color is called Posy K. On the website, this is described as a cool, mid-tone berry. So my camera is dying so I applied this one off camera. This is Candy K and this is described as a warm pinky nude. Great everyday color. And then lastly this is Coco K and this is described as a pale pink. So this is how it looks. This is the only one that I've really tried out. All the rest of them I haven't actually worn out. So whenever I tried this one, I noticed that they aren't very long lasting. I don't know if it's just this one or if it's all of them, but the formula of these lip glosses is good. If you don't like sticky glosses, it's not really sticky at all. I actually prefer sticky gloss because they are more long lasting. So this gloss is not very long lasting maybe an hour or two and you'll need to reapply especially if you're eating and drinking it's going to come off pretty easily but the opacity of these are really good so they do give you a lot of color payoff my top lip is more pigmented than the bottom one and it pretty much covers that up really well i really don't have any complaints about these glosses the applicator is a little bit more on the messy side but it does still work you're able to pull it off um the smell is very strong if you don't like strong scents and like i said they aren't the most long lasting but the opacity of them if you like thinner glosses you will really love these because it really does cover your lips really nice it has a nice gloss to it and a really pretty color as well so these are all of the glosses if you guys have questions leave them down below and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe bye dolls